for the lesson in the class on like how to um, use crystals and be like, you know, um, how to incorporate them in your life and like, you know, the spiritual awakening and you know, just all that lessons, right? Okay, just the introduction, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Alright, before we get started, I'm going to check you in. So, let me turn to our list. As you can see, we do a lot of these classes. Like, you know, I 
eventually I will find my purpose and what I meant what I was put on this earth to do it will eventually come to me and I also like to put out the energy into the world what you put out into the world is what you get back just like like basically karma because karma is real good and bad karma <laughs> so yeah so anyways um we're gonna get started so that was just kind of my little background of my spiritual awakening and kind of what it is it could be different for everybody you know but that's just how I interpreted it um are going to first start off by <clears throat> the next session that you come we're going to we can align your chakras but first we're going to start off with just learning about crystals me giving you crystals connecting with them because i'm going to give you a couple options of crystals okay okay so we're first going to start off by lighting this candle it is a chakra 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 candle There's little, as you can see, little crystals at the top, which is rose quartz, and rose quartz is a crystal, the crystal of love. And then, um, I believe in, like, every little, um, color, there's, like, crystals or whatever, so there's rose quartz on top, the orange is carnelian, the, um, yellow is citrine, the green is aventurine, um, and then the purple, there's a blue one that's, oh, I can't read her handwriting, Lap, lapis, laris, I'm not 100% sure. Um, once we get to that crystal, you know, we burn it down, then we'll find out, obviously, but, and then we have purple amethyst, so we're gonna go ahead and light this, so we can have a clean little, um, you know, like, section station, we're gonna cleanse it, whatever. So, turn this on, and... Um, and you can also 
Your 
crystals right next to the selenite like this and it'll help charge them and become more powerful because like I said it's the most powerful crystal so yeah okay so next we have opalite it's a really pretty crystal as you can see it's like translucent and has different colors so this crystal is very good for communication um, whether that be like spiritually um, or even with your family your partners whatever this is a really good um, crystal for communication and it also is a good crystal for when there's changes in your life it'll help you like you know get through those changes and just make everything more smoothly you know hopefully that's the goal if you put those intentions that intentions into the crystal and last but not least I think a lot of people have heard of carnelian so carnelian um, uh, one big reason I even heard it like on TikTok that um, why the, crystal, the powers of this crystal are almost, I guess everyone can interpret this differently, you know, but, um, and I know a lot of people got this crystal on, from TikTok because it basically, like, helped girls have more confidence when they would carry this around, and it also brought people back into their lives that they haven't talked to in God knows how long, like, that's the power of crystals, like, I've heard stories about how these girls would get carnelian and then their exes would have come back and randomly talk to them and they haven't talked to them in months or like just random people they haven't talked to in a while they would come back randomly when they had carnelian um i was given this as a gift like a while ago but yeah so that and it just helped the girls have more confidence as well so if you want some confidence for sure well, we will put this in your collection <laughs> okay so those are the crystals that I have for you to choose from and what you'll want to do is after we, we pick you pick the crystals we'll cleanse them and um, I'm gonna have like I'm gonna um, help you cleanse the crystals and I'll send you home with some incense and stuff and I'll show you how and then you I'll send you home with incense so you can do it yourself because I touched them and then I'll show you how you'll want to put your intentions into crystals, okay? Okay. So first, you're gonna want to take um, an incense, like I said, I'm gonna give you one. You'll want to light it, obviously. So once you get it, you're just gonna take the crystal. You're just gonna, the incense, you're just gonna want to wrap it around. There's many ways to cleanse a crystal. You can run it, run it under water and like wash it, basically. You can do this way. You can use salt water with specific with certain crystals. You don't want to use salt water with all of them, but yeah. So you know you just want to do that, and yeah. So we'll, you'll do that with every crystal. And let me put this out. Um. So you'll want to do that, and then after you cleanse it, then you're gonna want to hold the crystal in your hand. Okay. Well, you can do this while you're meditating or just like laying in bed whatever, before you go to bed, you're going to want to hold it in your hand and you're going to want to put your intentions into the, into the crystal. You can say it out loud um, or in your head, whatever you want. I would recommend out loud because then it's also like you're putting that into the universe of what you want to happen. And like I said, what you put out into the universe is what, it's, what, what it will get back to you. So I would recommend saying it out loud. So like, um, for the amethyst, it helps with like the tranquility stuff so I bit so if you have a lot of emotions and let's say you're an angry person or something you'd be like I want to be more calm like I want you to help me be more calm you know like whatever you want to put into the, your intention into the crystal of what you want to get out of it basically or for like the rose quartz you can hold it in your hand and be like I want to love myself more I want to be so comfortable with myself or like da 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 or for your relationships like I want my relationship to like I want, you know, whatever you want. So, yeah. And how to activate your crystal is like, you'll want to hold it in your hand and really try to focus your mind on this crystal and what you want. And you'll know it will have that energy when you feel a shift in the crystal. Like, you'll either feel it. My mom, when she um, was activating her crystals and meditating with it, she said that she felt like a vibration from the crystal. And she said she never felt that before. So you'll either feel that or you'll feel like it like super hot or whatever. You feel like that shift in the crystal. That's when you know that that energy and all of that is put into it. So yeah, 
Love you, love you, and hopefully I will see you next time. In